Hey my friend, this is Gavin Mountford here and in this training I'm going to show you how to set up your Facebook group the right way and I'm going to show you how to edit the settings, which settings you need and which settings you don't. So once you're in your group, this is my online entrepreneurs club group, you'll be, uh, you'll, you'll see this kind of a page here. If you go and, you know, Facebook likes to change things, so the settings may be in a different place when you watch this video, but right now they're here. Come down to Edit Group Settings. Click on that. Change the group type to whatever your type of group is. Make the group public. I normally have a public group, and what I find is the membership grows virally, essentially. So as more and more people request to join your group, other people are going to see your group as well and other people are going to join so you know you might be generating five new members yourself each day but normally once those people start to join there's going to be more members request to join that you didn't invite and that you didn't find and they literally just found your group as well so keep your group open because it means that other people can see your content that you post which means that those people it kind of acts like a teaser in itself you know when I post in the group other people see it from all around Facebook, they're much more likely to click the link and join the group. So keep it public unless you have a, like a specifically private members only community that people have paid for, in which case have it as closed. But for this, I would recommend using public. Then where it says membership approval, you want to actually set it so it's the second setting. It says any member can add members, but an admin must approve them because one of the processes you're going to go through with your group is you're going to manually approve your members and that acts as another touch point essentially. So I want you to set it as any member can add new members. So, you know, any of your member, any of your members can add somebody else if they want to, but you or an admin has to approve them and I'll take you through the process of what to do. And the other thing that I would set, once you've done your description, you've put some tags in, uh, the other thing that I would do is come down to where it says posting permissions and set it so members and admins can post to the group. So everybody could post. However, post approval, all group posts must be approved by an admin. You don't have to set the bottom one. However, what I find is you get a lot of spam if you're not careful. If you don't have admins and moderators in place to delete the spam, your group will quickly get overrun with spam once you get a couple of hundred members. Whereas if you have it approved by an admin, your admins, either yourself or somebody else that you've appointed as, as an admin, have to approve the post in the Facebook group first before it actually gets posted. And it's the best way to manage bigger groups, but you have to keep on top of the posts that people are posting. Because if somebody posts a post and you don't reply to them or you don't approve it if that happens a couple of times then unfortunately those people won't bother to post again and you want a busy active and engaged group so keep it public make sure you have to approve members first and make sure posts have to be approved the rest of the settings you can do yourself with regards to the web and email address once you've 100 percent decided on your group name you can change the um the essentially the link uh, and create a web address for it. If you haven't yet fully decided on the name, don't change that bit yet because what's going to happen is you can't edit it later and then you'll be stuck with that name forever. All right, so uh, go set up your group, make sure you've got these settings ready so when you've got members coming in, you can go through the process that I'm going to share with you. All right, take care, Gavin Mountford here. Bye bye.